In this video, I'll be teaching you how you can create your own Ambilight very easy at home with just a few items. Let's get straight into the video. So first off, we have to understand how Ambilight works. We use a WS2811 LED strip, which is an individually addressable LED strip. This one has three LEDs connected to each IC, which means we can control three LEDs with the same IC. I love LEDs, and especially these data LED strips, since they're so easy to use. All you have to connect is the ground, 12 volt input, and just one data pin. This means we can use the Arduino Nano for this project. So to start off we want to test our LED strip before gluing it onto the back of our monitor. This can be done by soldering three wires to the LED strip and connecting them to an external 12 volt power supply and a Arduino. All the parts and the schematic can be found in the link in the description. I decided to use this small little breadboard since it's large enough to fit our Arduino and it already has sticky tape on the back which makes it easier to mount to our monitor. Once you've connected all your wires, go to the link in the description and download the Bambilite folder. Upload the Bambilite code to your Arduino and if everything is connected correctly you should see a lot of colors fading by. Alright, now it's time to grab our monitor carefully and flip it to the back side. After that, you can start measuring the size of your strip. The strip should contain the same amount of ICs as on the opposite side. Okay, so now give your monitor a good clean with a fiber cloth to get rid of any dust that will prevent the strip from sticking onto the back. Now you can carefully tape the strip to the back of your monitor. But be careful, the arrows on the strip should go round in a circle. This is how it should look in the end, and as you can see all the arrows go round in a circle. Okay, so now it's time to grab a few paper clips and straighten them. After that, you can bend them 90 degrees and cut them to the right length. You could also use wire to connect the strips together, but paper clips make it look a lot cleaner. So, now it's time to solder everything together using the paper clips we just bent. But be careful not to melt your monitor using your soldering iron. Once it's done, it should look like this. You could use shrinking tube if you really want to prevent short circuits, but it isn't necessary. Okay, so now off to the final steps, which is finishing up the wiring. I use the sticky pad to keep my wires together. After that, I plug the wires into the right spots on my breadboard and I connect it to power adapter and the circuit is done! Now connect your USB cable and place your monitor back and we will start on the code. So once you open up the code, there are a few things you want to change. First of all, change the amount of LEDs. Don't count your LEDs, but count the amount of ICs. You might also want to set the brightness to 100. Now I had the error where the green and blue colors weren't responding. To fix this, I swapped the green and blue lines and after that it all worked fine. Once you uploaded the code, you should see this wave effect again. But of course, that's not what we want. To set the mode to Ambilight, we have to open up the Ambilight program called Bambilight.exe. This program contains a lot of settings that you have to mess around with to find the best settings for your monitor. 
Once you've set up your Ambilight correctly, you have successfully installed Ambilight to your monitor. Now all that's left is to pick a movie, sit back, relax and enjoy. If you like this video, perhaps you will like some of my others. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.